y'all, my name is Mallory Paulino from Stay at Home Mallory. I post all kinds of homemaking and cleaning content, and today's video is going to be a Halloween clean and decorate with me. We don't have too much of the cleaning that needs to get done today because we've been trying to keep on top of our cleaning because Brooklyn's birthday party is in a few days, so I don't want to be stressing about the house like the day of her party, like running around everywhere trying to clean up. So we're mostly going to be focusing on the Halloween decorating today. I don't have tons of decorations because I am not a big Halloween person. I like the cute little like pumpkins and the cheesy like sheet ghosts, if that makes sense, but not like all the scary stuff. Like I'm not big into scary things, especially not like with my kids. I don't want to like bring really scary decorations into our house. So we only have a few like pumpkin kind of Halloween decorations. And I think all of them are from the Dollar Tree, so it's really cheap and affordable. I just thought they were too cute. That's actually what inspired me to decorate for Halloween because I was not planning on it, but I saw the decorations there and thought we had to. So we actually will end up having to take these decorations down in a few days uh, for Brooklyn's birthday party because she's having a Doc McStuffins party, so I don't want the decorations to clash. But then we're gonna put them right back up after her party. But yeah, keep an eye out for those videos because the party prep video and the party cleanup video are coming soon. I'm already dreading the mess that needs to be cleaned up afterwards because we're having her party here. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna hop on over to the Halloween cleaning and decorating now. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to tackle in today's video is the smiley face stickers that have been on the floor for a couple weeks now. I'm gonna use the little scraper thing that I used to get them off the table in my last video because I can't get them up with my nails. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done first. Okay, so that was super easy and only took a couple of seconds. I'm putting the little scraper thingy back real quick. Um, now I'm going to go get out the Halloween decorations and lay them all out like I do with like the fall decorations. So I'm gonna lay all of those out probably like on the coffee table and I'm thinking of, since there aren't very many, focusing them on our TV stand. Where's that? There it is. I'm thinking of kind of focusing them there. <laughs> You can see into our laundry room. That's a disaster. Anyways, I'm thinking of focusing the decorations there just because like you see it all the time because it's in the living room and I don't want to spread them out because we don't have very many. So if I do a little bit all over the place, you're not really gonna see them because it'll be too spread thin. So I'm gonna go get those out and lay them all out now. All right, so these are the things I got. I didn't realize how few things I got. It's pretty much just little signs that hang out or hang up. I mean, these gel clings I'm gonna put on the window for the kids to play with, a garland and little pumpkin, oops. Oh my goodness, a uh, little pumpkin LED lights. Uh, I'm also probably gonna take some of my fall stuff and rearrange it. Over here, maybe use this little table mat. There's an acorn on it, ignore that. Um, use that, put like a pumpkin, I don't know, make it look kind of Halloween-ish because right now everything is very fall themed. So I'll take some of our fall stuff, maybe add the garland and lights and whatnot, <laughs> figure out where to put those, make it look a little bit Halloween-y in here. You can see that, like I said, I went for a very cheesy pumpkin Halloween because I don't like scary stuff and I didn't want to traumatize my kids either.
I wanted to give a quick update on these. The second I turned my back to do the TV stand, which is what we do next, the kids took all of these off the window, destroyed half of them, and stuffed the other half in their pretend toaster so we can't get them out. But they had fun while doing it, and so it was a fun three minutes for them. All right, so here's how mine turned out. I wasn't trying to make it perfect because you see how uneven it is because I know the kids are gonna take them off and redo it anyways. The kids are still working on theirs here. Brooklyn's putting together the skeleton and she's actually doing a surprisingly good job. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see. You can see we're redoing like we're re mulching this area so it's hard to see but she is doing a surprisingly really good job with that skeleton like she's got his arms and looks like he has little tiny legs it's really, really cute elijah's working on some leaves over there yeah the kids really love playing with these they're probably all going to be destroyed and in a million pieces within like a couple days but that's okay because they love them and they're super cheap all right so now that we've got the window stuff done the kids are finishing up theirs I am taking pumpkins from different areas, like these little pumpkins up here, and I'm gonna use them. I'm trying to hold it and hold everything else. I'm gonna use these on the TV stand, like I was saying a minute ago, to make it kind of look um, a little bit more Halloweenish because I didn't realize how few Halloween decorations we had, and our wreath is still a spring wreath. I keep meaning to get a fall one, but um, yeah, I think, oh my gosh, I just realized that this pumpkin has a bite taken out of it. I wonder who that could have been. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think I should be able to work with what I've got. And I'm going to go ahead and clear off the TV stand now so we can start decorating that. Okay, honestly, I'm not sure how crazy I am about this. I've just got this sign balancing. I think I forgot to take the tag off. <laughs> um, I've just got it balancing on this little pedestal that you can't really see. The garland's really long. I may end up trimming it. I didn't think to buy batteries for the little LED lights. It kind of looks messy right now to me, honestly, but I'm just doing it for the kids because they're really excited about decorating for Halloween. You can tell that I've never done this before because I only bought like three things and thought that would be enough. So this, honestly, I'm just gonna leave it how it is. The kids like it. So now I'm gonna figure out where to put these two things. Um, this would be cute like for the front door, I guess. I don't know. I just thought they were cute and I bought them without any plans on how to use them. So now I'm going to brainstorm on where to put them. Ok, 
Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna take the tag off of it later. I think I'm just gonna hang it on our key hook thingy because I can't think of anywhere else to hang it. I don't necessarily wanna do it on the front door because then we won't see it. And I'm doing these decorations for the kids, not for, you know, like for the outside. So yeah, I know that people have a lot better decorations than I do. I've seen some houses and it looks really cute. I'd love to do those little bats that everyone's doing, the ones where it looks like they're flying up the wall. Um, we still got Brooklyn's birthday balloons from yesterday. Probably gonna keep them up at the other party. Anyways, unrelated. Um, yeah, I know that there are people who have much nicer decorations, a lot more. And so I'm thinking next year, I'm gonna pick up and slowly add to our collection, maybe even throughout the month of October. I may add some more because I actually do like the cute Halloween decoration. Like I said, I don't like the scary Halloween decorations, but I do like the cute ones. So I'm thinking of throughout October, maybe picking some stuff up here and there because what we have right now is pretty bare and random and I don't like the way it looks. Like I said, the kids like it, that's what matters. But yeah, that's gonna be all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and it maybe gave you some ideas for or some motivation to start decorating your home for Halloween. I really, really want to add to this because now that I've started, I think it's like got a ball rolling because I've always not really wanted to decorate for Halloween, but the kids always wanted to. So I figured we'd do it a little bit this year, but I think it's kind of got the ball rolling now. Like I like how it's looking. I love watching other people decorate their homes for Halloween. So I think we're going to add to this. So like stay tuned and you can see if we add stuff to this. Um, because I'm really liking it. Anyways, yeah, that's all for today's video. If you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!